Right, in this video, I'm going to go back to the HPI regions. I'm going to clear all of this. So at the moment, I've got the this pivot table by region names. And I'm now going to copy this table and paste it here. So I'm not cutting, I'm copying. And I'm going to change this. So instead of it showing me the region names, it's going to show me the dates. So now I've got the same information presented twice. You know, they both total 4378437. You can see that right at the bottom. Which one are these slices connected to? Well, the easiest way to find out is to click on a region. So you can see they are connected to the first one, the original. And I'm just going to deselect the auto fit column width because that's going to really annoy me in a few minutes if I don't. There we go. So here is the date and I can select a particular date. And actually you can see that they are connected to both slices, to both pivot tables. Both slices are connected to both. So here we have 178-0628. So by just clicking on one slicer, I can have it affect two pivot tables. Hmm. This isn't something that I can do using filters. Now let's delete this and let's create a completely new pivot table. So I'll just take it from the same source data, that's important. So same table and insert a new pivot table and I'll put it where the old pivot table was. I'm going to set it up exactly the same. So we've got date going down. Uh, let me click on date again. Date going down and the number of sales in the values. So are these two connected to both pivot tables now? No. You can see that the date remains the same in both. So how can I connect both slicers to both pivot tables? And that's fairly easy. I click on the slicer and I've got the slicer options. And one of those options is report connections, which is actually pivot table connections. It's a very oddly named uh, phraseology. Or I could right and click and go to report connections. So I want it to connect to both pivot tables in the sheet. And this is when you can see that actually naming your pivot tables might actually be helpful. So I'll name this one um, pivot table HPI by region. And this one I'll name pivot table HPI by month. Okay. So now let's have a look at how pivot table or report connections is currently connected to pivot table HPI by region. I'm going to also connect it to the by month. And you can see these two other sheets, pivot tables here that are, can also be connected. So I'll just connect them as well. And I'll do the same with this one, this slicer. So now when I click East Midlands, it affects both pivot tables. How useful are this? We have got two synchronized pivot tables. And not only that, it's also affecting the information in this sheet and this sheet. So you can see we've got all of the regions shown. I click East Midlands, go to this sheet. We only have East Midlands shown. So we could create a dashboard with synchronized settings that we can change all at once. So if I change a filter here, will it change the filter? Will it change the slicer on the others? And the answer is yes. The slicers and the filters are connected and connected to all of the other pivot tables that we've connected them to. So I've gone from being underwhelmed about slicers to going, this could be the basis 
of a dashboard. I could use this in presentations and just say, and if we now have a look at the east of England for the first six months of 1995, that is how useful slices can be.